Hi guys, we will go through the attack mode in this video. So let's get started. The attack mode is similar to active scanning, but it works in a different way. Let me create a new session in the zap and put it in the attack mode. As soon as you select the attack mode, you will get a message that says rescan all of the nodes when scope changes. Most often you would say yes. So I'm going to select yes. As soon as you select yes, you will see an active scan tab will be automatically added in the information window. Let us manually explore our utility website. So if I just select it here and launch the browser using Firefox. When the browser is launched, you can see it picks up a lot of activity in the history tab and the site tab builds up. But attack mode is not going to do anything yet because there is nothing in the scope. We learned in one of our previous videos that there is nothing in the scope by default. So let us quickly confirm that by going to if we go to the session properties from this icon or go to file session properties and here if you click on the default context the in scope is ticked but there is nothing included in the context so the default context is in the scope but there is nothing included let us now add our test website to the context. So if I right click on it, select include in context and click on default context. Click on the OK button. As soon as I do that, the active scanner starts making requests. Also the active scanner will now follow you around as you navigate through the application under test. This is very helpful in situations where you want to focus on one particular area. So rather than spidering all the nodes or URLs, the attack mode will just follow you around. It is particularly useful when you have a really big application and you just want to focus on a specific area for testing purpose. One thing to note here is that there is no progress shown and you cannot stop it. This is because attack mode will never finish. It will finish when you stop browsing your application. As soon as you go to a new page, if it is in the scope, it will start attacking. You can have a different policy for the attack mode. This is helpful in situations when you want to concentrate on a specific type of vulnerability in a particular area of the application. You can do so by going to tools, options select the active scan and here in the attack mode scan policy you can select a different policy if you remember in one of our previous video we created a specific policy to test cross-site scripting so let us select that and click ok so now if i add something to the scope and as soon as I click OK now this time the attack mode will only use the cross-site scripting tests if I now go to the application and log in using our admin credentials click the login button and it has straightway picked up cross-site scripting issue. So this is very helpful if you want to concentrate on a particular area of the application for a specific type of vulnerability. 
also in that policy you can specify a high strength to the tests so that you can test area of concern more thoroughly so the way you can do that is go to the scan policy manager click on your policy go to modify and in here you can specify high strength so that you can test that area thoroughly using the attack mode so this is the attack mode in zap that comes in handy as you manually explore your application if you haven't done already please do subscribe share and like the video as it really encourages me to create more thanks